everybody, today I'm going to show you how to manage your photos on your iPod, your iPod Touch, or your iPhone using Copy Transphoto instead of using iTunes. Now this Copy Transphoto software is really nifty. I mean there's really no comparison between this software and iTunes. iTunes is so far behind in what Copy Trans lets you do with photos it's not even funny. I'm going to plug my iPod in here and show you right quick what you can do with your iPod and the photos on the PC. It's telling me it's safe to connect the iPod and it just detected the iPod photo library. Now I'm using an iPod Touch just for the record but the same process can be used for other iPods. Leave that right there. Now you can see there's two different tabs that are showing up in the iPod window. By the way this is where the iPod photos show up and this is where the photos on your PC show up. I've chosen this photo folder over here on my desktop as a place where I'm going to put some photos from the iPod, but it usually opens up in the default pictures folder under my documents. Okay, so here we have the photo library and here we have the camera roll. Now you might be wondering what camera roll is. Well, if you have an iPod Touch with wireless internet access, you can save photos from like a Google image browser on the internet and you can save them right to your iPod. However, iTunes software does not give you a way that I know of to sync the photos that you've taken from the internet on your iPod and copy them to your PC. Copy Trans does, and I'm going to show you how that works. And what I've done here is I've created a brand new photo folder on my desktop. I called it Photo 2, and I'm going to put some of these photos in it. You see there's a couple of them right here. This one's not showing up, but that's probably because it's not a very good resolution on my iPod, and it could be having troubles, but you can still probably copy to the PC. And there it shows up. So just because it doesn't display in the window doesn't mean it's not there. You can see all these other photos. You can select all of them if you want to. And you can just right click, copy to PC. And instantly it will take them to this folder that you've created. And whichever folder over here on the right is selected, that's where it's going to place your photos. I'm going to open up that directory. Oh, excuse me. I have to apply the changes first. There we go. Now I can open up the directory and you can see all those photos have been added. So you can save the photos that you saved on your iPod to the PC with no problems on Copy Trans Photo. Now the typical photo library over here are the photos that you've synced from your PC to the iPod. Usually the photo library is what iTunes software automatically creates for that purpose. You can do the same thing here by navigating to a different part of the computer, let's say one of these folders right here, and I'm going to pause the video and navigate to the folder, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm here at one of the photo folders that I want to copy some photos to on my iPod. It's over here on the right hand pane, this is my computer view. Um, you can see there's a, a bunch of photos I could scroll through right here. These are just some of the first ones. If I wanted to add this to the iPod, all I have to do is click a photo, drag it and drop, and add the photo, and it's right there. You could do that with all the photos. You could say select all, and you could select all of them and put them here. I'm not going to do that with this folder because it's pretty big, but you can do that. There's also um, you can also do a slideshow view if you wanted to look through all the photos on your iPod and look through them on the PC for, you know, if you are showing people your vacation photos or whatever. So you can do that here and you can't do that on iTunes. So that's pretty nifty as well. Now if you want to apply those changes, or in other words, put your new photos onto the iPod, you would click this little Apply Changes button right here and it says you are about to save the changes you made to your iPod and PC. Are you sure you want to apply the changes? You can say yes. And now it's finished. 
So you could do that with virtually any photos you have on your PC. You can add them to your iPod and you can add any photo from your iPod back to your PC. And I showed you how to do that and you can do the same thing with the photo library that iTunes makes. You know, iTunes kind of promotes itself as being a way you can you know, use your iPod as external hardware and backing up your photos and stuff, but I don't really see where that's viable because it doesn't give you at least an easy way to copy them back to the PC that I know of. So by choosing one of these folders up here where you can copy your photos to, you can easily just copy to PC, apply changes, and it's right there. And that's the easiest, quickest way you can do that, and that is only with Copy Transphoto. So thank you for watching. Um, you can pick up the copy trans photo using the copy trans control menu. If you, I'll, I'll give a, a link to copy trans in the description of the video. And you, if you just click on copy trans photo, it'll open up. You do have to purchase an activation code if you want to use the software and not have it put a watermark on the photos but it's definitely worth the money especially if you want to do a lot of things with photos on your iPod. Well that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.